Hi, I'm Renee. I'm based here at the Mount Graham Water Treatment Plant in Dunedin. My name is Prasanna. I am the South Zone Water Treatment Supervisor. I'm Anthony Keenan, so I'm the supervisor at the Tuna Wastewater Treatment Plant. My name's Athena and I'm a trainee plant technician at Tahuna Wastewater Treatment Plant. So every day we typically do uh, maintenance, sampling, we look at the data that we collect from different areas and we analyse that data so we can see if the plant's running optimally um, or if there's something going on that we need to pay attention to. We've got our routine work that we do each and every day. Anything from doing chlorine sampling to doing small labs. Just general checking of equipment and pumps, make it do a bit of fault finding. And then we have a lot of kind of variables that pop up, such as breakdowns um, that we have to do a bit of trial and error to find the issues for sometimes, um, so it can be quite challenging. There's quite a lot of variety to the job. So this is just one of our six water treatment plants in Dunedin. Um, so we spend a bit of time going around the other plants, maintaining them as well, um, and making sure that uh, Dunedin's population has nice, clean drinking water. Um, I, I, I've had a previous professional career but it was time to move on so water treatment is quite a specialised industry so you have to start from the ground up um, so it makes for quite a good apprenticeship um, and quite an interesting career. I finished high school and I went to university uh, and I was doing a Bachelor of Science in Ecology and Geography. Um, I really enjoyed it but I got part way through and kind of thought maybe it wasn't for me and I decided to have some time off of university and go and get a job. Uh, so I was working in a factory prior to this as a supervisor. Um, it was really, really big hours, it was hard work and it wasn't the best work environment. So I started looking for new career options. Um, and I also wanted to be in more of a role where I had qualifications behind me. Uh, and a bit of a purpose as opposed to just being in a factory every day. Um, so I was looking for jobs and I saw Network Operations trainee at the council. I looked into it a little bit more and I thought this could be a really cool opportunity um, and I applied for it and I was really lucky to get the job. I've been supervising for about three months. Uh, prior to that, an operator, so yeah, that includes standbys, there's various sampling, troubleshooting. Um, prior to that as well, I was a trainee and I've been in the job for five years. I actually have a Bachelor of Science, so I was actually already quite interested in uh, wastewater treatment, but really I was coming back from Australia to New Zealand and this role popped up and I applied for it and I got it. Yeah, I'd absolutely recommend water treatment. Um, it is a really fun role, every day is different, you learn so much and um, everywhere you go everyone is really supportive of each other. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it. It's, it's challenging at times but it's also fun. Yeah, so I really enjoyed this job. There's quite a bit of variation in there. There's a lot of hands-on work, great troubleshooting, you know, there's some tough times as all jobs have it but like I said, if it was easy, then it'd be boring. So it's always exciting, no day is the same, and I highly recommend anyone that's sort of thinking that they want to go down this field to give it a crack, even just look into it, uh, go for a tour, because you'll see something that you won't see anywhere else. Uh, yep, I'd, I'd highly recommend this job for anyone who likes to kind of keep on their toes, um, likes a good bit of variety in their job, and really wants that satisfaction from a working environment. To me personally, I think it's really good for, for women who might want to do like a, a variety of things, especially if they're interested in science, but I mean like I'm talking, you can operate cranes and you can work with pumps and I mean I never thought I'd ever work with stuff like that. I don't think that people realise that this role is even something they can do or that it's even a thing. I think that people think they have to be technically minded or mechanically minded or something like that, but we do all the training for you. I, I mean, I think it's a good idea to have some background in science because a lot of our processes are to do with chemistry, 
and biology especially. So if you have a little bit of a background in science, um, that would definitely be beneficial. But that's not to say you can't learn this stuff on the job. I mean, I've got like a resume that that thick now because um, I've been sent on lots of training courses in health and safety, I've done confined spaces training, I've done fire and safety training, uh, working at heights, uh, forklift training. So there's just so much you can learn and you can learn from coming from any industry. So yeah, it's a definitely a good place to start a career or to definitely, you know, if you're coming back into the workforce.